All righty. So I think I might have the most exciting construction update so far. Um, so a lot going on. They are prepping Moosehorn Falls uh, to get its structure in place. Um, so that's really exciting. They did all their electrical, all their plumbing. Looks like they're digging out a little bit more plumbing coming out of that plumbing building. And then they got a little bit of a flow um, for where the structure might go. So we should see um, them start to dig the concrete pad that this thing will sit on. So again, this is going to use a concrete pad and not footings um, from my understanding and from when I asked people in the industry. Now, um, this footer digger um, has popped up on site and more specifically, I can tell you the exact model. So this is a drilling rig LB24270. Um, and yeah, this is a machine, exactly the same machine they would have used for Yukon striker footing. So that's really interesting. Um, whether they'll use a bit of this for the Moosehorn Falls as well, they could. Um, it's a lot more um, high end than they would need for a water slide complex. Definitely more roller coaster sized, but who knows? Um, over in the tunnel, they were doing a lot of digging around the tunnel again today. A very slow pro uh, process. Um, not exactly sure why they are doing it the way they are doing it. I don't know, nor do I have the expertise to really comment on that. Um, but yeah, it's it's very interesting to me. I thought they would have just gone in there and like dug it up, but they're almost digging it like it's a dinosaur fossil. Um, so that makes me think that they have intent to keep it. Um, but then again, at the end of the video, I can see them jackhammering the top of it. So we'll have to see. I don't know the process. I felt like they could have just gone in there and dug it, but maybe they had to dig away everything to get to the actual cement, and then now they can jackhammer it. Um, but when I fly tomorrow, I'll be able to tell you guys more. So we should see exactly what their plans are tomorrow when I fly or today because you're watching this today. So when I fly today, Friday. Um, but yeah. Really interesting. Um, trying to think of what else is going on at the park. There's quite a bit. So um, here you can see them actually um, installing handrails and all that. And they just removed all the debris and some trees as well. So uh, again, definitely um, very curious to see how wide this tunnel gets. So right now, um, it is not wide enough for a wing coaster. I know everyone's really excited about that. Me too. I'm not a big fan of wing coasters. I would 100% take a launched wing over or sorry he launched invert over a launched wing um the only thing i like about the wing coaster is is it would be really pretty and it would be really cool to see it at front gate so that's my that's the only plus with the wing that'll give it and i do like the new design um that we saw at king's dominion now over at backlot this is where things are getting interesting so backlot's restaurant um i've been hearing rumblings of its re-theme and the sign has come down and um, some of the stars as well. So very interesting. We're going to have to keep an eye on Backlot uh, Restaurant. I'm really excited to see if the park brings back its old um, Ginza Gardens restaurant. So fingers crossed for that because that would be phenomenal. But like I'm telling you guys, you guys are seeing it. A lot of money is being poured into Canada's Wonderland right now. Very exciting times. I wanted to film this so they're getting that little like area set up so you can't um, enter through this pathway area. It'll be an exit only. But I saw these two guys with some blueprints over by the front gate. A lot of electrical work is going on inside this side of the building at front gate as well. So very curious to see um, if self-serve kiosks are going to be set up here instead of the windows. I think that would be really smart on Cedar Fair's part. I know it's always not the best to remove human jobs and replace them with robots. But for a theme park, it's extremely smart. Um, but yeah, over at Mindbuster, lots of work going on. It's starting to look a lot more like its old self <laughs> in terms of the wood and all that. Still waiting on the actual rails for the, the metal rails for the coaster itself. Um, so yeah, just waiting on that. Um, this is something that has moved really quickly. Very impressive um, team that's worked on Mindbuster. So super excited to see and feel how that turns out. Um, but yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed over at Extreme Sky Flyer, nothing new other than this gas canister that's shown up on site. Um, again, things are really interesting because Extreme Sky Flyer is either being removed for a the the new 2025 coaster or a VIP area. Now, do I think Wonderland would have removed this for a VIP area? No, I really don't. But again, I could be proven wrong. 
Um, what I really could see, honestly, you want me to weigh the, the options, is uh, if they already use International Showplace for the station of the new launch coaster, then I could totally see them moving International Showplace to over here with a more modern look. Um, I could see that. I could see the VIP area, but I personally don't. Um, but we'll see. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of options. It, it could even house the station of the new 2025 coaster. Um, but Wonderland's removing it for a reason, and they definitely didn't mind sharing some information with me. And in Wonderland fashion, they're not usually open about things. So I feel like Wonderland is about to enter its teasing era, and I feel like we're going to have a really fun season of teasing. So I'm really excited to see that process as well. Um, as this project, I'm telling you right now, as someone who covered Yukon Striker, they are keeping this a lot more under wraps. Um and doing so successfully than I personally would have liked, but um, I, I kind of enjoy that because we get to go through this process of figuring it out together. Um, and I do have a really good friend group who has been very helpful in figuring things out, even down to the drill bit. So it's been really fun. But yeah, super excited to keep covering this project. I'm really happy you guys are enjoying these construction updates. Honestly, it's been a lot of hard work. If I didn't have Craig helping me out right now, I wouldn't have been able to do them as often. Um, and when I say often, we're flying three times a day, guys. We're literally flying three times a day. That's how much work is going down. So the footage you see on the screen right now is three flights. So just to put that into perspective. Um, but yeah, super excited. Glad you guys enjoy it. I definitely want to hear from you guys down in the comment section. I'm going to include some of these comments in the podcast today. So the podcast is going to be at 8 p.m. today. Comment down below what you think the coaster is going to be and anything related to this video comment down below and i'm gonna pick some of these comments to address in the podcast so even if they're funny or whatever put them in there and i'll include them maybe you'll get a really like sour reaction out of me even if it's a, a comment i don't like about the 2025 project but um yeah super excited i don't think there's anything else to cover so i'm gonna just let the footage play for the remainder of the video um right now what you're seeing on the screen is they are jackhammering the tunnel um so yeah actually i was wrong that's the next that's the next footage the next footage is them actually jackhammering um with a tool on that excavator the tunnel so um stay tuned for that and yeah can't wait to see you guys in the podcast tonight at 8 p.m and hopefully you enjoyed this video and there'll be another video today um, and obviously, if you really want to support the channel, especially the multiple trips up to Wonderland and all that, uh, join us on Patreon for uh, access to first access to the updates immediately after I land that drone. I post the updates. Anyways, thanks so much. Have a good week. I have hiccups right at the end of the video. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.